I'm with the gang, 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 and we bout to go up. Switching lanes, it's a thing every time we show up. You a lame, 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 and you so below us. Bet your hoe she know us, cause you know we glowed up. Stay down. Talladega, apparently, it, it is really cold for racing, but, but we got a race going on, the cars are, of course, going to be warm for these drivers to race in, and we're bringing you the race now, um, hope you guys enjoy this race, let's look at the points right now. These are the round of eight points as they stand right now. Round of eight. You can tell there's not that many drivers. There's not that many words on this list. Let's get to it. Martin Drake Jr. is your points leader. Two wins, 210 points. He's got to have a solid day today to stay as points leader or Boyer will pass him. Um, Jimmy Johnson, um, he advanced. But Boyer, second in points with two wins and 209 points. Only a point behind. Jimmy Johnson, one win, but 208 points with a second place finish last week. Kurt Busch, one win, 205 points. Chase Light, two wins, 203 points. This year, his first win came in Birmingham. His second win came just last week at Hertz. So, Chase Light fans, be happy for your driver. He's going into the round of eight. Kyle Busch, one win, 200 points. That's not good. He's dropped down from third in points to literally sixth. Sixth in points. Kevin Harvick, zero wins, 198 points, but with those good runs at Hertz and a good run at Talladega today, might advance him to the round of four if he's in a must-win situation. Alex Bowman, one win, 195 points. Not looking good for the showman today, but um, those are your points for the round of eight. The guys who got eliminated, the eliminated drivers from last week, were Brad Keselowski, Denny Hamlin, Denny Hamlin Austin Dillon, and Bob Wallace. Kevin Harvick, the really good run, and top five finish, it got him in to the round of eight. But Brad Kozlowski with a with a very bad race, did not do anything. Denny Hamlin, however, dominating the race, had all the points given to him. He was already currently fourth in points um, as well, two laps to go in the race. But with that crash out, it didn't it bumped him out. And Austin Dillon, poor old Austin, he just couldn't have enough speed. And Bob Wallace right on lap, the first caution on lap number two to bring out the yellow, and that took him out of the round, the, his whole chances at a championship. As we just showed you the points entering Talladega, the first race of the round of eight here at Talladega. We'll see who starts, hopefully, hopefully some of these drivers can pull out a win. If they can't, that'll be really, really unfortunate for some of these drivers. But if they can, it's anybody's race. Anybody can win a Talladega race. Anybody can win in the Dots Cup Series. Who'll win today? We're setting them up for the green flag. Let's see your starting lineup. Matt Abundetta right next to Kevin Harvick. Jimmy Johnson right next to Alex Bowman. Chase Elliott right next to Kyle Larson. Joey Logano and Martin Drake Jr. round out the next roll. And we got Kurt Busch, the Bush brothers, right next to Kyle Busch. Clint Boyer right next to Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin with a heartbreak last week. Ryan Blaney and Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace out of the playoffs like he did last week. William Byron and Ryan Newman. And rounding out your field is Winston Parker and Brad Kozlowski. And we'll get ready for this five-lap race at Talladega. And green flag is out. Matt Vendetta leads him off. Kevin Harvick in second. Trying to get pushed. Jimmy Johnson now making it. Three wide between the two leaders. Jimmy Johnson with a really good run. If he dominates today, he can become the points leader. It's a freight train of JGR cars trying to come back up here, but Jimmy Johnson leads lap number one. Kyle Larson goes with his teammate and Kurt Busch. The freight train of Joe Gibbs JGR cars go up the middle. No, he didn't really spin. S nice, amazing save. Now, Jimmy Johnson is still leading. Can Trix pass him? Trix with a nice save there. Now, Matt Monadetto to the back of the 43. The 43 drops like a rock. The back of the 48, excuse me, as Jimmy Johnson will come out and he will lead lap number three. 
There's three wide racing here, and Trix trying his best to get a push. There's a big wreck, Newman. Up and over, up and over. Goes Ryan Newman in the shower of sparks. Every car is out of today's race. Cars who got involved. It had the first caution, had the 24, the 12, the 8, the 43, the 2, and the 6. Let's look at this replay of the wreck again. Man, just a brutal wreck from the 6, up and over. Glad everybody's okay to the safer barrier. But we'll restart with a green-white checkered finish, as we're going to see everybody, see if they want to go down pit road or not, as Jimmy Johnson leads everybody. And Jimmy Johnson will be the first guy on down pit road, Matt Lundetto, Mark Trick Jr. and Alex Bowen, I'll take it. Green flag is out. Kevin Harvick leads them. Kyle Busch, uh, Chase Slate, and Kyle Larson did not go pitting. And Kyle Busch slid. They did not pick up all the debris. And Kyle Busch with a tire down. Kyle Busch, severe damage because the debris left on the track from the last caution. Everybody of them leads. Green, white, checkered again. Chase Elliott's going to be the leader. And Clint Boyer is going to be second. They're going to have a second overtime finish. And green flag is out. Chase Elliott leads. Jimmy Johnson with a really good run with the 21 and the 11. They get a really good run. Now comes here the 11 and the, the 19 with the white flag. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. One lap to go in this race. As Mark Trichter takes the lead. And there's a big, big crash involving everybody. Denny Hamlin comes back through and he's going to win the race. Big crash. <coughs> Excuse me for that big crash, and Denny Hamlin burns it down for the crowd getting interviewed by the um, NBCSN guys. <clears throat> what a show today. And Denny Ham and Confetti Drop is out for Denny Hamlin, and Denny Hamlin will get it done in Talladega after heartbreaking loss at Hertz last week. He gets it done with Redemption, and Chase Elliott finishes second. Hello, everybody, and thank you for watching this Talladega race. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast filming this race. It's been a good five hours. The sun is shining. It is afternoon time here at Talladega. Late afternoon in Talladega. I've been filming since um, 10 in the morning. And uh, I'm just glad everybody's enjoyed it. Everybody's enjoyed themselves. Um, that's your results. is the 9, the 88, the 42, and the 22. Um, hope everybody enjoyed this race. If you will, please smash that like button I, I need more lights man i've been breaking back to this this team i I've, I've made this track in like three days dude i had to get this done in a few days thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the stop motion and if you did leave a like subscribe for more and until next time have a good one hey everyone this is winston in the editing winston um, I just want to tell you guys that the reason why Kyle Busch had a weird scheme is because of the Shirley Strong organization. You can see it on track right there. But the Sherry Strong organization with cancer kids um, helping the kids out with cancer. And that's the why the special scheme was made by the kids um, about last year. It was a draw. And Kyle Busch, after he won at... Do Daytona, they said they was going to pick a particular race they going to use it at, and they picked Talladega. So, he might run it in future races, but that's why he had a special scheme. So, that's why it looked like a custom, a bad custom. That's the reason behind the scheme. But thank you guys for watching this. Please leave a like. Subscribe for more. Until next time, have a good one.